Hello, grade two. Let's have our, for today, we are going to have, instead of music and arts, we're done yes, last week. Now we are going to have PE and computer. For our PE, we are going to talk about symmetrical and asymmetrical shapes using body parts. Okay, but the, what is symmetrical body shape? It is any shape of your body makes which if divided down the middle with an imaginary line would show that each side is the same. Again, symmetrical body shape, if divided, it is still the same. Okay, so for example, I will show you some example of um, pictures. Okay, so for example, this one, if it is cut, for example, there's a line down. Okay, this side is the same from this side, right? Next is this one. Let's pretend this one is straight. Okay, this side and this side is the same and also this one when you cut it I my line is not straight okay so you're stand you're lying on the floor if you cut it there same on the other side both are the same so that's the asymmet asymmetrical body symmetrical body shapes now what is asymmetrical body shapes the asymmetrical body shapes are positions or movements which are uneven or different from one side of your body to opposite side it's different from the left and it to you and to your right okay while the symmetrical it's both the same the asymmetrical is different. Now, let's take a look at the picture of asymmetrical. So this one, it is asymmetrical. Look, if we cut it here, the, the what's this? The, these sides, they are not the same because the hands here is like this, while the hands on the other side, it's on the head. Okay, next, if we cut it here, the legs here up and the hands are down. While here, the legs are down and the hands are up. If we cut it here in the middle, the hands here are sideward while the hands here is holding the leg. Okay, it's uneven. It's not the same in asymmetrical body shape. While the symmetrical body shape, it is the same again let's review symmetrical they are the same and asymmetrical they are uneven or different from one side of your body to opposite side so is it important to have a balance you when you are doing the symmetrical and asymmetrical position yes because balancing, it means maintaining stationary position for a moment without falling. So can you do balancing, boys and girls? Okay, so let's try balancing. I want you to stand up, stand straight, and then arms sideward. The palm is facing up like this, but straight sideward, and both feet on the floor. Are you standing already? Okay, so you're gonna do this for one minute. Ready? And go. The time starts now.
four, three, two, one. Time's up. Okay, you did not fall. Very good. Now, this one is what? Symmetrical or asymmetrical? This position. Very good. Symmetrical because when we cut it, it is still the same. Both sides are the same. Okay? If we cut it here, let's imaginary line. Okay, now for this one is symmetrical and this one is asymmetrical, not the same okay look it's not the same it's uneven it's different now for this one you're gonna do it also for one minute you're gonna do the arms sideward also palm face up but this time your right foot you're gonna balance your right foot it's up okay it's not on the ground but it's up so you're gonna stand like this for one minute can you do it? Okay, let's try. Ready? And start. The time starts now. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Um, I think others fall already. They, uh, they are having a hard time balancing themselves. Okay, so please sit down now. And let's talk about base support. What is base support? It is the body or the parts of your body that are holding in a balancing position for this one when you are standing the one that is balancing is your feet but this one is your foot only it's only one the one it's the one that is on the floor the one, that's the one that's your base support so for this one your feet oh, this one your foot <laughs> and your legs okay here your half body okay half of your body is the base support now please get your book and open it on page 234 ready go okay so it says here you need to study each picture below and tell what is being described choose your answer from the list and write your answer in the blank Okay, symmetrical. These are the choices. Symmetrical shape, base support, asymmetrical shape, balancing, and statue image. Okay, po? So choose your answer. Go. For number one, it is, let me help you for number one, symmetrical. Right? When we cut it in the middle, it's the same. Symmetrical shape. Okay, for number two, this one. Three, four, just choose your answer here. Symmetrical shape, asymmetrical shape, balancing, base support, and statue image. Okay, pa. So please pause this video if you are not yet done. But those who are finished, let's go to our computer for your computer we're gonna learn about different types of computers okay there are types of computers and the first one is the super computers the super computers are the most powerful computers huh they are the most powerful computers because they are used for work that needs a maximum speed, yung pinakamabilis na speed, 
and the power like the weather forecasting, science research, and other complicated tasks. So the supercomputers are used for science research, weather forecasting to know the weather, and other complicated tasks. So that's the use of supercomputers. And I'm going to show you the, some, the picture of supercomputers, and it looks like this. This one is a super computer. Next is the mainframe computers. Okay, there's M here. Mainframe computers. What is main mainframe computers? Okay, the mainframe computers, these are the computers used by government organizations and the big companies like banks. They use mainframe computers to store large amounts of data. So this one, the mainframe, is they can store large data that would not fit in normal size computers. So the banks and the governments, they are using the mainframe computers. Okay, so let me show you the mainframe computers. So this one. Okay, this one is the mainframe computers. And now let's go to our next one. It's the mini computers. What is the mini computers? This type of computers have high processing powers and capacities, but are smaller in size compared to mainframe computers. So mainframe is big, right? While the mini computers is a smaller size of mainframe. So this one. Okay, next is the microcomputers or personal computers. These are portable computers or personal computers that are easy to handle. Okay, it's easy to handle and these computers come in different shapes, the sizes and brands. So there are many types of microcomputer or personal computers. It's handy. Okay, so the first one is handheld computer. It is a computer that is smaller to be handheld with your hands only. Its features may include a calendar, a dictionary, and a lot more. So this one is a handheld computer. I haven't seen this kind of computer. Next is the personal digital assistant or PDA. It is a lightweight device that looks like a handheld PC, but designed to perform only specific tasks. It can serve as your diary, a telephone, and alarm clock. So this one is the digital, personal digital assistant or PDA. Next is the tablet computer. It is a wireless and flat screen computer, and you can take notes using this device with the help of a stylus or the digital pen on a touch screen. It can also be used for playing games, watching movies, and listening to music. Next is the laptop or notebook. It is a portable computer that is used by people who frequently travel and need to be able to work while on the road. It has a flip up screen and functions with a battery so this one is the laptop or notebook or netbook next our desktop computer it is a computer that is designed to be placed on top of a table or desk it usually consists of four basic parts the monitor the keyboard the cpu or system unit and the mouse it is also known as personal computer Next is the smart watch. This gadget is wearable computing device that closely resembles a wristwatch. The wearer of the device can use it to read a text message, answer the phone calls, and a mobile phone. And also from a mobile phone, and it can also listen to music using a Bluetooth connection. Okay, so these are the computers, microcomputers by size and capacity. So can you please read together with Teacher Bell? Ready, go. Handheld computer, 
personal digital assistant, tablet computer, laptop or notebook, desktop computer, and smart watch. Now, let's go to types of computers by platform. So we have PC compatible computers. These computers are run using the Windows or OS operating system. And it was created by the Microsoft company founded by Bill Gates. You will learn more about the Windows operating system in our next lesson. And we have also the Android computers. These are the mobile phones that can perform a number of tasks similar to a computer. They usually have a touch screen, an internet access, and an operating system that can download applications or programs. And the last one is the Macintosh or Apple computers. These are computers that run using a program or operating system made by an Apple incorporation. Macintosh computers are known to be the first personal computers to use computer graphics on computer screens and introduce the mouse to operate the computer. The Apple Incorporation is created a number of amazing devices, and you might have seen them in computer stores or through TV commercials. Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, invented the first Macintosh computer with the help of his friend Steve Wozniak. It was Wozniak who designed the Apple II in 1977. So, matagal na pala yung Apple. Okay, now we have here the PC compatible computers, the Android computers, your cell phone, and we have here the Macintosh or the Apple computers. So please get your computer book and open it on page 26. Open your book on page 26. So please get it first and open it. I'm going to count 10. Go. Okay, now it says here you're going to circle the computers that does not belong to a group. Okay, we are going to circle the computer that does not belong to a group. Okay, so for example, this one, look at the picture one, picture two, picture three, and picture four. So this one is a desktop, 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 and this one is PDA. So which one is, is the one that is not belong to the group? Of course, this one. So you are going to circle this. Okay. Next, for number two, the big one, hand, uh, the handheld phone, small. Okay, which one is different from these four? Okay, please, uh, please circle. And now let's number three. Okay, there, here, picture number three and picture number four. Which one is different? Next, number four, picture number one, picture number two, picture number three, picture number four. Which one is different? Next, number five, look. Okay, this one and this one. Which one is different? Okay, done? Okay, but now let's have your assignment. For your assignment, please study for our quiz tomorrow. And please take a picture of pay, MAPE, your MAPE book, page 234, and your computer book, page 26. And send it in our class dojo. Thank you, everyone, and see you tomorrow. Bye.